Well, holy smokies, guys. Shout out to Financial Education. As you guys can see here, Arkham Moto stock is up 69% on the day. I am very sure that Elon Musk would be proud right now. Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Buy-In King. As you guys know, uh, I am very long-term on Arkham Moto stock, also known as FUV. And yeah, it's blown up today. It's absolutely crazy. As you guys can see, back here on Tuesday, the stock was just at $7 a share, and now we've more than doubled to $16 a share, moving 69% just today ridiculous so everybody's wondering what's going on with Arkimoto stock is this just a pump in the stock and there's going to be a huge sell-off what's going to happen i'm going to tell you guys what's going on with the stock right now and why i think it's moving so big first and foremost i want to tell you guys about my discord group we have over 200 plus members in the discord group and we're adding new members every single month in there people interact in there people ask each other questions and everything like that people ask me questions as well so if you want to ask me stock market questions or just talk to me about stocks or talk to me about life or whatever or you want to interact with the other 200 plus investors that are in that group be sure to join my discord group the link will be in the description below so some people might not know but i've actually been following fuv stock since june of this year so i've only been following arca moto stock for about five months but when i dive into a stock i really like to dive into a stock and look into the management behind it the vision behind it look into the following base of the stock i join facebook groups and ask people questions about why they like the product or whatever so i've been following uh, FUV for a while now and as you guys can see I posted my first video about Arkimoto 22 weeks ago on my Instagram and uh, right here I'm pretty much just talking about that I like Arkimoto stock and you guys can see it was $3 a share back then and I'm saying here in the description FUV my next stock question mark which ultimately I did end up buying uh, FUV stock and then on YouTube on August 26th I actually uploaded a video called why Arkimoto stock will 25x to $160 a share in my opinion and at the end of the video I'll let you guys know if I still think that Arkimoto can pull that off or not but as you guys can see Arkimoto stock was trading at $6.80 sense when I made that video and now we're up to $16 a share so it's like every incremental step I'm posting a video about Arkimoto. Some of you might not know what Arkimoto is and that's okay. Arkimoto is pretty much a company that wants to revolutionize the way that we go about our day-to-day -day lives and do we really need to be taking a car that weighs over 2,000 pounds just to go from home to Starbucks. So they've come out with these cool little vehicles called the fun utility vehicle the Deliberator and the Rapid Responder that just pretty much is a snappy, fun little vehicle. The FUV, obviously, uh, up here. FUV stands for Fun Utility Vehicle, and it's exactly that. It's a fun vehicle, and it's a utility vehicle. So it's very uh, efficient in that way, and I think that's what they tried to create here. And it's very much my style of thing because I believe that my generation, the younger generation, we like to get things done and we like to move quick um, you know, throughout the day. We don't like to drive these big bulky cars and stuff like that. But um, yeah, FUV is, and they're electric by the way, so they're electric vehicles. And I believe the FUV, if we can get some statistics on it, yeah, so 75 mile an hour top speed, 102 miles of city range on a single charge, and um, yeah, I guess 173 miles uh, yeah, I don't really know what that means. But anyways, as you guys can see, these vehicles are starting at $17,900, which is pretty cool considering when I started following FUV, they were starting at $19,900. So they've knocked the price down by $2,000. And you can now go down here, uh, I mean, design your FUV, and you can design the color and all sorts of things like that with types of little accessories you want on your FUV, things like that. So yeah, the FUV is pretty much the top seller for Arkimoto, but they're also coming out with this product called the Deliverator, and it's pretty much for last mile delivery of packages or grocery delivery. As you guys can see, it's the same body, it's the same footprint of the FUV. You guys can park pretty much anywhere in these tiny little parking spots, and you can actually park three FUVs in a parking spot. Pretty crazy, right? So yeah, it's pretty much just small, nimble, can get through little crevices. You don't need this big bulky vehicle to deliver packages when it's just, you know, not that big of a package that you need to deliver. You can still fit a decent amount in the back right there. And then there's the rapid responder. This is the one that's least, that Arkimoto, I haven't seen them really promote as much as the other vehicles. Uh, the rapid responder, I know they've done a test run with the, uh, 
the fire department here in Eugene, Oregon, which is where they're based out of. And from what I've heard, the chief over there loves the loves the product and he says that it's the perfect apparatus for pretty much any fire crew because and paramedics because it allows to get, it allows the paramedics to get to a situation without these huge ambulances, huge fire trucks and things like that. And you can just maneuver through things. Another great utility I think is awesome for this type of thing is like security at events or colleges. Obviously right now during coronavirus times, there's not so many events, but I still think that, I mean, look at this. You guys see this thing driving on a bridge, going through those little poles that don't let cars go through uh, certain sidewalks and things like that. It's just a great little vehicle to have. So that's pretty much what Arcomoto is. And when I pretty much heard about this company, I was like, okay, I mean, it's a neat little product, whatever. But pretty much what got me into Arcomoto was this guy named Galileo Russell. He runs a channel on YouTube called Hyperchange. And this guy is just so brilliant. He's one of the greatest masterminds I've, I've ever watched on YouTube. This guy is so brilliant. And I saw an interview that he did with Mark Frommeyer, which is the CEO of, FU, of Arcomoto. Um, and this is, I saw this back in June, pretty much like the day before I made that video about why I like FUV stocks so much. So I looked into the company, their bank account checks out, they take care of their debt, they have a good cash standing. And I saw the market cap of this company of under $100 million. And I'm like, whoa, hold up, what? Under 100 mil? Like that's, that's a pretty small market cap for a company that's already doing deliveries of these products. And once they scale up, like, holy cow, this company can be huge. It's an EV player. So it's like, if it's under a billion dollars, like that's crazy. But if it's under 0.1 billion, I mean, of $1 billion, then that's just absurd. And I started looking into it and I'm like, wow, this company can really scale up from here. That's pretty much what the last video I made on FUV was about, why I think that FUV can 25X. Now, do I think that they can still 25X? Do I think that they can do more than that? I'm gonna answer that at the end of the video, but I encourage you guys to watch that video that I made on YouTube. It pretty much blew up for me because it has 5,000 views and that's a lot for me on YouTube. As you guys can see, yeah, it has 5,000 views down here, 219 likes, uh, a couple people that maybe didn't like what I had to say, but I encourage you guys to please watch this video if you wanna get an understanding for FUV stock or if you feel like this is a stock that you can be get behind and invest in. I don't tell people what to invest in, I just tell people what I think about certain investments and things like that. So I encourage you to do your own due diligence and do your own research on a stock. So please do all the research that you can before investing in something. So why is Arcomoto up 69% today? Jesus, man, I've never owned a stock that's been up that much in one day. Are you kidding me? 69% in one day? That's ridiculous. So what happened here is Arcomoto and City of Orlando launched joint municipal pilot program to test ultra efficient electric vehicles in city fleets. To dumb this down for you guys, pretty much it means Arcimoto reached out to the city of Orlando or Orlando reached out to Arcimoto. I don't know which way it was. And they said, hey, listen, we want to test out this FUV that you got and this deliberator. And we want to see how it'll function with our city staff. Like we want to get one to the police department, one to the fire department, one to the O&M crews, the street crews. And we'll see if they like it, uh, what they like about it, what they don't like about it. And we'll see uh, maybe if we do like them then maybe we'll order some more. So let's read into this more. Arcimoto FUVs and deliberators will be put into the test across six city departments, furthering Orlando's mission to create one of the most environmentally friendly, economically and socially vibrant communities in the nation. So as you guys can see, Orlando already subscribes to the idea of progressing as a, a more green future. Arcimoto, makers of the affordable, practical, and joyful pure electric vehicles for everyday commuters and fleets, today announced that it has entered into its first municipal fleet program with the city of Orlando. Together, the city will test Arcimoto vehicles across six city departments, continuing Mayor Buddy Dyer's efforts to transform Orlando into one of the most environmentally friendly, economically and socially vibrant communities in the nation. And then Arcimoto says, we are thrilled to work with Mayor Dyer of the city of Orlando, one of the most forward looking cities in the country when it comes to increasing sustainability and tackling the climate crisis. We believe Orlando's use of our practical, ultra efficient, small footprint vehicles will serve as a model for other cities across the country and aim to aggressively electrify their fleets. Vehicles are expected to be tested by Orlando Fire Department, Police Department, Code Enforcement Division, permitting services, venues, and park enforcement. 
Guys, I think this is huge. These are the exact departments that need to be testing this. Now, if they said that just administration, like the city manager was testing this out, uh, if they said, you know, uh, finance department was testing this out then it'd be like what a waste like why would you even need to test these but the fact that the fire department and the police department are testing this out as well as the the permitting uh parking enforcement like that's huge i'm assuming maybe the planning department yeah code enforcement i'm assuming is part of planning department so they're going from building to building checking out uh if, if buildings follow codes and things like that that's the exact use that the arkhamoto was pretty much built for you know for people that need to get around really quickly need to uh, go through small spaces and things like that so that really excites me uh i'm assuming that they're gonna maybe uh, that Arkhamoto will hook them up with the Rackbid Responder as well since the fire department and the police department are getting a batch of these units because that's pretty much what the Rapid Responder was created for was for departments like this. And another huge thing about this, guys, it's the city of Orlando. Like that's crazy. If it was just like some small town USA, like I live in a small town in the middle of nowhere in the Midwest and in, in the United States. If it was something like that, it's just like, okay, the big cities aren't going to be watching them and being like, oh, what did this small town do differently? You know, it's the big cities that people are watching. And as people are seeing these tiny little vehicles zooming around Orlando, they're going to be like, what is that thing? And and I'm assuming there's going to be FUV stickers on the side of these things, the Liberator stickers, Rapid Responder stickers, and people are going to be talking about this. The people that use these machines are going to be talking about them with, when they're with their wives once they get home, with their kids once they get home, their husbands. They're gonna be saying, dang, the city just hooked us up with this new little zippy car. It's called the Arkhamoto, dude. This thing goes, this thing punches, this thing goes to 75 miles an hour. You get 100 miles on a single charge. It is fast, it is cool, it is fun. And that's what excites me is that, like, really the city of Orlando, Arkhamoto teamed up with them? Like, that's massive that they got such a huge city like that. I want to show you guys Arkhamoto's recent earnings numbers. As you guys can see, total revenues for this past quarter, which ended in September 30th, 2020, they reported $683,000 in sales just these past three months, which is crazy because this same three months last year, they only reported $33,000 in sales, but yet again, they just started doing deliveries last year this time last year like that's literally when they started producing vehicles and delivering them out so thirty-three thousand. that's what one and a half vehicles that they sent out something like that so this the figure for this year is uh equal to about 36 vehicles that they had delivered this quarter and through 2020 so far this year arkhamoto has done 1.5 million dollars in sales wow arkhamoto is on track to do two million dollars in sales in 2020 pretty crazy because last year this time of year and the entire year they had only done forty four thousand dollars in sales but the fact that they're getting into the millions now and they're starting to scale and ramp up productions is pretty exciting to me what excites me about Arkhamoto is that they are still very small and they're still at a very small market cap of $500 million. Just crazy that they 5x since I made that first video about Arkhamoto. But they're still very small and they're only able to produce about three cars a day right now. But they do have a partnership with Sandy Monroe and if you guys don't know who that is, he's a legend in Detroit car manufacturing expert knows how to cut down costs knows how to make a sleeker design how to make things actually work and make profitable vehicles so arkhamoto has teamed up with him and he's helping them pretty much cut down the cost of the arkhamotos make them more profitable and making them even easier to assemble so in arkhamoto's most recent earnings report they said that even though they're only able to make three units per day as of right now i believe starting q1 of 2020 they're going to be able to bump that up to four units per day and then by summer of 2021, they're going to essentially double that to eight units per day. And from there on out, I don't really know. They didn't give much guidance from there on out. But pretty much by this time next year, we can be certain that Arkhamoto will be able to more than double their production that they're at right now, which is pretty exciting. They also said that starting Q1 2021, there will be significant cost reductions to the building of FUVs, something about vacuum plastics. I didn't understand that well. I don't really understand what goes behind building cars, but it's pretty exciting to hear them say that it's gonna be such a huge relief off of their shoulders, having these huge cost reductions out of the way by Q1 2021. So that's exciting. 
Now, can Arkimoto really get to a $5 billion market cap from where they are right now, which would essentially be a 10x from before I made that one video, I said they would 25x. Well, now it's only a 10x because Arkimoto stock has gone up so much. And again, if you guys haven't seen that last video I made back in August, please watch that. The reasons why I believe that Arkimoto will 25x. The reason why I made that video was because during an earnings call in summer, Arkimoto released a video of the CEO of Arkimoto, Mark Frommeyer, uh, having a Zoom call with Sandy Monroe. And Mark asked Sandy a question and he pretty much said, how likely do you think it would be for Arkimoto to, by 2022, so in two years, for Arkimoto to produce 50,000 cars a year by 2022? And Sandy Monroe said he thinks it's very possible for them to do that. With all the cost reductions that Sandy Monroe was trying to figure out here and pretty much making production of these vehicles a whole lot easier, Sandy Monroe believes that it is very possible that Arkimoto can get to 50,000 vehicles produced in one year by 2022. Now that may take until 2023 maybe even 2024. As we all know, there's always these hurdles coming, but these are the numbers that I'm seeing here. Currently, as you guys saw, you can buy an FUV for $17,900, but back then, FUVs costed $19,900, so pretty much $20,000 per unit. Now, if Arkimoto were to produce 50,000 units times the price per unit, that would be $1 billion in sales, which is absolutely crazy for them with how small they are right now. Their market cap isn't even half of that number. Now, what I did with this $1 billion figure was I, I implemented a price to sales ratio, a pretty conservative one of a 5X. Now, I'm saying that um, pretty much every company has a price to sales ratio. And what that is, is you take the amount of sales that a company produces in one year and you multiply that by a certain figure and that gives the company a certain value. Most younger companies have a higher price to sales ratio, but I'm just saying, okay, let's say that FUV only had a price to sales ratio of a five. So they trade five times more than the amount of sales that they made in one year, which would give them a valuation of $5 billion because they made $1 billion of sales in one year. Now at a valuation of $5 billion, that would give the stock a price of around $160 a share. But what I've done now is that we're seeing the price of the FUV go down a little bit. The price has gone down by $2,000 since I made this video. So let's say that the price of the FUV goes down to $15,000 a unit by 2022, and they're able to produce 50,000 units by then. That would be total yearly revenue of $750 million, which is pretty good. But here's something interesting I found in this last earnings call. As you guys can see, here's a slide that Arkimoto made to compare themselves against other electric cars. Now, as you guys can see, they have a little chart over here saying average electric cars, 4,000 pounds, battery capacity is 80 kilowatt hours, footprint is 100 feet, and uh, affordability target is $35,000, right? Now, Arkimoto's vision is the platform weight 1,000 pounds, battery capacity, 20 kilowatt hours, footprint, 35 feet, and affordability target, $10,000. So it looks like Arkimoto was trying to get the price of these vehicles down to $10,000, which is crazy. And if they do this, will they still be profitable? It's really hard to tell. And I believe that they moved the figure down from originally, it used to be 12,000 was their goal. And I believe they moved the figure down because I think that Sandy Monroe maybe told them, you guys can build this thing for a lot cheaper than you think. And Arkimoto is just like, boom, light bulb. We can drop the price even down to $10,000. Now, I think that's what happened. This might just be, you know, just uh, wishful thinking on their end. But hey, that's their target is $10,000 per vehicle. That's their target right there. So I'm thinking if the cost per unit goes down to $10,000 and they're able to produce 50,000 units by 2022, that would be total annual sales of $500 million, which is their current market cap as of today because they're trading at $16 a share, which would give them a price to sales ratio of a 1x if they were making these kind of sales right now, which obviously they're not. They only made $1.5 million in sales so far this year. But let's say in 2022, they do churn out half a billion dollars in sales. And then we multiply that by a five times price to sales ratio. That would give them a market cap of $2.5 billion dollars which is around 80 dollars a share 
for Arkimoto. So do I still think that Arkimoto can get to $160 a share or a $5 billion market cap by 2020? Anything is possible and it all depends how highly valued the company is compared to its sales. Actually, I think it's more possible that it would be overvalued as opposed to undervalued by the time we get there because we already see a lot of hype coming in for Arkimoto. A lot of people on TikTok are watching my videos. Um, also other uh, people that are fans of Arkimoto are telling their friends about it and Arkimoto is, is starting to get some more hype So I think that we could see the share price a lot higher than $80 a share or maybe even $160 a share just because this can this really has No limited upside to it. It can go as high as possible, you know And and that's just when Arkimoto is getting the ball rolling They've still got years ahead of them and if all things go great in Orlando then geez man other municipalities can order these type of vehicles, you know, um, other departments, people that are, people that do Uber Eats for a living, it would be crazy, guys. But yeah, I do believe that Arkimoto by 2022 can have a, a share price of around $80 to $160 or even beyond that, but those are just my conservative numbers. Thank you guys for watching. Yes, I am still very long term on Arkimoto as you guys can tell, so please stop asking me, is it time to sell yet? When are you going to sell Arkimoto? Because I, I don't have a plan for that. I'm just a long term investor. As you guys can see, I'm, I'm very quick paced, but that's just how my brain works. But on the outside, I'm very mellow and I'm calm and this stuff doesn't affect me. I'm not like, oh, Arkimoto's up 60% in one day, sell. That's not me. Like. Um, like the dream hasn't even come into fruition yet. It's just news right now. Like imagine if, damn, uh, Orlando loves these vehicles so much after 90 days, they're ordering even more and they're advising Miami to do the same thing. Miami orders some, New York orders some, Seattle's ordering some. Like Arkimoto is just starting to grow and who knows where it can go. But that's just how I am with my stocks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my Discord. The link is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. And always remember that time in is greater than timing the market. Have a beautiful day.